I was feeling to share with you in a really real way today. Not that that is an unusual <laughs> thing for me, but a real meeting about body love. And often through our own self-judgment, we can think, well, you know, it's easy for her or it's easy for him to talk about or to um, have, to be in a relationship of, of body love because, you know, because she's thin or because he is beautiful, wh whatever it may be, but it's not easy for me because I am this or I am that. And body love is truly a relationship of love and devotion and care that we naturally and organically know. It's simply to be in deep relationship with our body and to be at ease and belonging and at peace in our own skin and bones. So it has nothing to do with what we look like. It's something much richer and real than that. When we look at a child, he is in a relationship of love with his body, his inner relationship of curiosity and wonder and aliveness. And he has not even considered at all what he looks like or what his gender is or the color of his skin or his weight. He is in a natural state, a natural presence of body love. Body love for me personally has been a real, a real hard slog adventure um, that has not been an easy journey and it has very little relevance, as I said, to what we may look like. Um, I was at a point in my life totally disconnected from my body. It felt my body was there and I was somewhere else, floating around and being buffeted about on the breeze. My body felt like a painful place to be um, and a place I wanted to not be in and actually did probably pretty much everything I could possibly think of to be destructive towards it. Um, I, if I was in my body, then I would feel pain and I didn't want to go there. I didn't want to feel that pain. I didn't want to be in a place of feeling. And my body didn't feel like a safe place to be. So things such as anorexia um, were in my life, um, self-harm, um, promiscuity, they're not caring enough to take the medication that I required at that time, um, not nourishing, not nurturing. Um, and from there, I went on to have a colostomy bag after having the whole of my colon removed. And I felt that my colostomy bag was really a reflection of how I felt about myself. It was a bag of shit. And I felt like a bag of shit. Now, and I had scars on my body that would be there forever. And I had a real hatred towards them. They were an imperfection. They were not beautiful. They were ugly. Um, they were something to be hidden to, something to be ashamed of. 
and then of course time evolved and then um, you know I have breast reconstruction but there came a point where a deep compassion arose for my body that all these situations in life, all these experiences I had had, so had my body. And if this was a friend or one of my children or a loved one telling me this story, how, how would I respond? How would I be? And why was I not? responding and being that way with my own body story. Body love has nothing to do with the external. It is there no matter what we look like, no matter what age, no matter what shape, no matter what skin colour. And it's a consistent unconditional love that remains as truth no matter what is happening on the external. It's not confidence, it's not something that we have to project into the world, how we hold ourselves, how we present ourselves to another. It allows us this belonging, this true belonging, this rootedness, this groundness in our skin and bones so that we can say to the world and life and others around us, here I am, and meet them with nothing in the way, nothing in the way, just as children do and just as we did as children. Without body love, without belonging, in our body, then there is an impossibility actually to truly know our sexuality, to truly be intimate with another, to truly live a sensual life or a fulfilling life, to feel, to experience, to have a juicy life, to have a satisfying life. And if we're not here, in our own skin and bones, then where are we? And it's always going to feel like we are missing. Body love really feels and felt like a first step for everything then to be held in, a held space. My body, my relationship with my body was how I held space for everything else that then needed to be listened to, to be attended to, to be loved and to be okay. So, if there is this desire in you to be intimate, to be more sexual, if something feels like it's missing, if you don't feel like you belong, if you're still in a space of blaming your body, disliking your body, then I deeply encourage you to embrace, to just take that courage in your heart and dip your toe in, even just a little, into an adventure of body love.